Right, so hi, it's Hazy, and welcome to my channel. Today I am showing you how to draw um, things like this. Okay, using perspective. These are the actual ones. Now, you, I don't... Uh, my perspective is not perfect, so you don't have to... But I'm just showing you very basically how you can make them look as though they're round rather than... See what I mean? That's a flat one, and that make them look like they're round rather than flat, like that. But that's fine, I'd show you that one as well. And you can do them like that because you can see that looks a very pretty pattern and you can see it's a bauble. I haven't drawn the thing because I'm going to cut them out, but you can see that's a bauble. Um, there, look. Even though it's not, it doesn't look like it's round. Okay, and then I'm showing you how to draw stock, socks, uh, stockings as well for your Christmas uh, fireplaces. There we go. And then you can do that afterwards as well. Okay, so they are so easy to do. And I'm going to cut them out. And I'm going to put them on some black card like I normally do. So they look like um, drawings from children's books. Okay, so... And I can copy these as much as I like because they are my own drawings and not rubber stamped or anything like that. Anyway, I uh, hope you like to join me today. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. And let's go. So all you can see now is a big bit of white in front of you, can't you? So, <laughs> Let me show you what we're going to attempt to draw today and I'm going to teach you how to draw well how to doodle okay it's not sort of doodling isn't it more than drawing really but uh, if you want to do a bit of advanced I could teach you something I'll, I'll teach you a bit of perspective okay a bit of advanced I well simple perspective right then I'm trying to find some compass you can see how close up it is this is because I want you to see what I'm doing I don't think this one's too bad, actually, if, if I remember right. That one's... Um, but the ones I was going to use are supposed to be able to fix them into place. So I want... Um, let's see how big I want this. Right then, so I'm going to, we're going to have a go. And I think um, I'll also introduce you to a light box. Have you ever seen a light box? But I, don't, I won't be able to use the light box on this because it's in it's too um it's too light outside as well unless we cover ourselves up with a dark blanket i did envision <laughs> i did envision it earlier right, i've covered myself up in a in a dark blanket and my husband says why have you why have you made a tent <laughs> yeah so that's hilarious right so what i'm going to do oh that's the simplest one isn't it so we could start with and the reason i'm doing this because if you get rubber stamps you're not supposed to copy them um, and you don't get them, always get them the size you want. So that's, um, I've heard you're not supposed to copy them because that's what, um, what's the name said on Shinuki Art. She said, I'm going to, oh dear, that's not quite, oh, that might do, might it? So yeah, this will do. So I'm going to do a circle, okay, with my compass. And I don't have to do it with your compass, you can draw it freehand. I did actually draw these freehand. So... And then they extended. And I'm going to do it with a pencil because, <laughs> yeah, let's, hold up. let's get that into the middle. Okay, so now um, I can see where, where I'm actually drawing because sometimes I'm actually, um, I can't see the camera. So that's probably why I sometimes can't. So if you're going to draw one of those cute little um, shapes, you just have to extend it out a bit like that. Okay, so I'm going to draw... Yeah, so you want to look at this. This is the possibly called the negative space at the moment. Okay, between there and there it needs to be the same as there and there. And then you can come down here without you doing that yet. Oh dear, a bit further in, I think. It's entirely up to you and just do a straight line there. Let's see if we get, let's do this first because this is what I keep forgetting to do. Draw a line through the middle. So where you've made a mark with your compass if you've used one. 
Isn't that, I suppose you can measure it and you can use a ruler if you want, but I think, oh, do you know what, getting a ruler out and, start, uh, and using it, I, I don't, can't be bothered. So that's why I don't, but you can obviously use a ruler, that is amazing. So there's your a line, okay. And I've done this and I want to make that, look, I see even that, that's a bit for too far over there, isn't it? So that needs to come a bit there. So I'm doing a flat line, okay like that a flat line like that that's a good idea so i've got a cross now like that and that's not even in the middle is it look you don't have to do it in the middle it's a it's a drawing but it, it, you want to get you want a bit of practice don't you so you can then you can come then you can go around like this and then you just extend your circle out and come line like that and that's your basic bauble slit. And I can do this because you know how many erasers I've got at the moment? Probably about 50. <laughs> yeah, I bought some. Right. Um, and then I'm not going to do the string. You know you like the string that you do. I'm not going to do that until I've cut it out because I'm going to cut these out. You don't have to cut them out. You can do them straight on. Okay, so you can draw a little loop on whatever you're doing. So I'm doing it like this. Okay, and then you want somehow, uh, let's see if I can get that a little bit more. I don't know so you can see that sort of like not even yeah <laughs> uh, but then you want might want a little sometimes come I mean, if they're made of glass they'll sometimes come like this so i'm drawing a bauble does that did i even mention that yeah i did show you what i'm drawing so i'm drawing something like this and sometimes the glass baubles are coming to a little point like that uh that see that this is why i'm using a ruler and things because i did that and i thought no <laughs> so i will show you how to draw one of those using um aids okay if you want to okay so how so okay so that's that right so then there's self, several different ways i think of doing it this is um one of my best type of oh dear that's it right and i'm going to try and attempt to rub this out without without look it's going to go into the thing eventually isn't it uh, you don't have to rub it out. I wouldn't rub it out sort of like so you can't see where you've rubbed out because you might need the lines somehow. Right, that should look fairly regular. It doesn't matter if it doesn't, does it? Because um, it's hand drawn for start. Right then, so I'm going to teach you. I haven't got an example, have I? I'm going to show you. Okay, uh, that, that's the only example I can see is this. Oh no, there's, a, there's millions of jars. I'm gonna, right, so if you've got a jar, can you see that there? You've got to sort of like, remember there's a curve, okay. So I'm going to try and attempt to show you a bit of perspective. Um, so that doesn't go, you don't, well you can do it straight across, that's absolutely fine. I'm sure if you can't, really you can't do it. Because it'll be just a, like a, a design, won't it? What's happening there? Oh, it's the window cleaners. Okay, we're going to get some window cleaners <laughs> again. <laughs> I think we did it before. Yeah, right. Um, so, so if you want to sort of like um, draw a little curved line like this, okay, it doesn't really matter. I could have done it a bit more flat, I suppose. But remember that it will be. In, and if you're drawing like, if you're drawing something like a cup, for example, the top of a cup looks like that. And then if you come down to the bottom, it will also curve. I've seen people, and that is a that is actually an artist. I think it's an artist have done it. They've done like a curved at the top and a flat at the bottom there. And then a handle on it. And it it's a, it's just a design. So it doesn't really matter what you do. But I'm just teaching. If you want to know any perspective, that's that's one way of doing it. So you look at a cup. And you don't, right. Uh, uh, now this is very, very important. <laughs> you're looking at this okay this is not a jar top this is just a shape so whatever you can't see a, a circle no that was it wasn't it it was like i know what it was like it was like that that was like a cup <laughs> see that yeah i've seen that i've seen somebody an artist do that and that's like a um i think it's a statement isn't it so can you see that that there's there's your circle okay we've got keys in there and then you can then it becomes an ellipse okay so when wherever you go that is not okay a jar lid all right you can just do it as a um 
draw what you see don't draw what you think it looks like that's what i'm saying don't um I mean, that to me i mean it's over there now that is not i mean it was more like that but i, it's, I want it more like that yes it's like okay, the window cleaners okay the dog's getting excited now because it's window cleaner right okay and then you can um I think you can, uh, I don't know if it comes more flatter as it goes down. Right, so a little bit more flatter there. So you can imagine a, a line. Now if you can do this, if you want to do this, this is fine. But this is quite a good exercise. Remembering that you're not drawing a um, circle, you're drawing an ellipse. So that you draw, look at the top of a cup. Don't look at, look at the top of a cup, thinking it's not the top of a cup. It's an ellipse. So draw what, draw this what you can see, and remember how, how the distance between there and there, and it curves here. It isn't, it isn't, it isn't pointed there. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna say <laughs> they've used long brushes. It's hilarious, right? So then you can use that line that we've already done as the bottom there. So you don't draw the back, the back one, just the front one. Don't you ignore that one? I think we've had the window cleaners before, haven't we? When I would be doing a video. I think these these are so. And I thought they must produced or something because you cannot stop it from moving. You should be able to stop it from moving. Anyway, let me show you now what we can do. So anywhere in that, so anywhere in that design now, whatever you do. So if you want to do a bit further in as well, you can. So anything, anything you do in that design, if you follow it, it will be correct. I mean, that's not correct, is it? That that needs to be more like that. I can see that. So perhaps it's more pronounced there. Yeah, so that's more pronounced there. I can see that doesn't follow quite the line as it should. So, and that would be even more pronounced, really, wouldn't it? So we'd see more of a circle there, a bit less there, and a little bit less there. So perhaps that's a bit more flat. Yeah. There are a lot of circles because we're looking, we imagine we're looking from here, okay. That's the sort of thing that perspective is. You don't have to do that at all. You can um, go straight across. I was doing, I was supposed to be doing a circle one, wasn't I? Yeah, well, we'll do a circle one, okay, and we'll do it the same size. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to try and attempt with this thing to get rid of it. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's there because I'm going to paint out or draw over it. Move it over a bit, then we can. So let's do a straight one. Okay, <laughs> this is the thing with these. You're not very. Uh, it's me, isn't it? Really, not the. Right. Okay. So that's your ball. That's your bauble. Okay, and then you can. Uh, well, I suppose you can imagine that's the straight line there, if you like. You can imagine there's hardly any. Um, that that would look like. That's that. If you if you go either way, or it will. Uh, let's imagine that's a straight line there. Then you can sort of hardly hardly see anything either side, because you you perhaps wonder how to do it. Okay, so. Um, we're going like that we'll go that way wouldn't we if we're going that way and this way if we're going this way yeah it's not um it's not uh, easy really let's just see if i can yeah you're drawing an ellipse aren't you and then you have to rub out the back line and then you're going okay so that's the middle one now okay so that's your that's tipped differently to that one. Um, I think we're looking more from sort of. I don't know. Right. Okay. So that. So I'm just saying. What I'm trying to say is, that anything you do, I could have done it more like that. Oh, that's a straight one. Yeah. Oh, I've done it differently. Ah, see, I haven't done it like that. 
so it doesn't matter what you do really <laughs> i've got that as a straight line can you see that yeah that's it. i've got that as a straight line and that going up and that going down i don't think it actually would do that so i've got it i'm now i'm doing it as if it's so it doesn't matter i could have had it like that uh, and it looks fine doesn't it there's nothing wrong with that yeah it looks absolutely fine but correctly it, it would be there and that would be there and that would be there so i'm just saying anything you do within that any design you do within that would be correct as long as you left it like this uh say you're doing a zigzag um let's start in the middle you do it down to the line it would be correct okay so i'm following that line now and then i'm going to do a zigzag across here okay and then i can do another line here can't i and perhaps another zigzag down there i'm just starting in the middle because that's i don't think they've done the front have they oh, that's good and then you can do things like this if you like yeah so that would be nice and i haven't drawn that because i'm going to cut it out right so we're going to get some crayons out yeah so i'm choosing aqua evergreen i think this is a new one um i'll do the top and bottom like that then Yeah, that looks really scruffy. <laughs> but hopefully it won't in a minute when I've done it. First one. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so that's what I see what I mean. So you can see that it's the perspective is correct but i think i don't know if you be able to do, i don't know what it looked like i didn't try actually what it looked like if you didn't do it with perspective i could always try it it's a bit bigger than the the one i've already done so let's have a go if i didn't use perspective if i used just lines i mean that's because that's going to look all right yeah something like this I'm going to do it like that. Yeah. Right, and then perhaps. Yeah, if I come along like that and then I'm going to colour that in the same. Yeah, you can see, can't you? That looks like a flat disc, and that looks round. But that doesn't that doesn't mean to say that's bad. I'd say that's fine because it's just having fun, isn't it? We don't have to do perspective. You have to just have some fun with some doodling. There's nothing wrong with that. But I say if you want to have a go at perspective, that's how you do it. I I am not very good at perspective. Okay, it looks like a bit like a spinning top. I don't know if anybody remembers that. I used to have a spinning top and it's a bit longer, but yeah, I used to have one. Never you could use it though. 
yeah right so uh, i'm gonna do um i would do that if i'm gonna do that again i would do it like i did it on the other one I, even though that's wrong i think it's actually wrong um, I i'm not even showing you but i'm pointing at it but i'm not showing i think that is not correct but it looks fine to probably probably to somebody who knows about perspective and always uses perspective that probably does look wrong but to me that looks absolutely fine um yeah and that's and that's fine as well that's just a flat one okay it looks flat but that doesn't mean to say it's wrong it's fine um i would um yeah so i'm going to do the i'm going to perhaps color in this one now i like what i did before how did i do it sort of like did a, an extra bit there well, i don't think that's yeah so it's probably a bit more flatter than that okay so yeah you might come to realise if you do things like this, what what makes more sense and doing perspective. Yeah. Okay. And that's a sim. Is it simple? I think perspective. This is isn't not a difficult one. Uh, says I. <laughs> Hopefully. Right. Um. I've done it differently. I've, I, know, I like the way I've done that other one. So it's like I'm done a. So I'm drawing zigzags now that's not touching each one of those in an equal sort of way okay and then it can come along and then oh, i don't know should we touch it now it's only possibly only a guideline anyway so if i wanted to draw some hold on i think that is wrong you know it needs to be more like that you can i can see now as i'm doing this what's <laughs> this doesn't work it just does not work so i'm talking about this Okay, so that's better, isn't it? Um, and then, yeah, that is actually wrong as well. That's that's slightly wrong. But does that look? Does anything? Does anything look wrong with that? No, that's absolutely fine. So if you want to just carry on and um, just draw some, I'm just drawing some, but I'm drawing them within this lot of these lines. Okay, somebody watching hopefully will will put me correct and tell me how well I'm doing. <laughs> I told you it's like blindly did blind, which I did um, mean. So you can do anything like that. So anything, so equal distance apart from there to there, whichever curve it is, like that. Okay. I mean, you might. I sometimes just watch people drawing. I'm thinking, I wish I could do that, you know. <laughs> so if you're doing that, that's absolutely fine. Right. I look like eyes actually. What I've done on there. I think it took a little bit more time to do um, the colouring in, which is why, I mean, that looked, it did look like scribble at first, and then when you put the edges on, it looks um, a lot better, doesn't it? That is in the middle, isn't it? That's amazing. I can't believe that's actually in the middle of the screen. Right. Um, let's have a look. I can use, you can use two different colours, or you can use as many colours as you like. I'm using all sorts of styles of pen. There we go. That's similar. That's a sort of copied that sort of. That's slightly different shape, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. So anyway, that's those. Um, we could try and do a long one if you want to. It's do all it is is a circle, but I'm going to do it slightly different than what I did. Let's have. Oh, that's not the right. Is this the this one? Right, let's see if I can turn it on its side so we can we've got more sort of like room. So it's just a circle. Now, 
um, and you can do it as you like do it as a, perhaps that across I don't know it's it's entirely your choice and then you can do that as long as you like and I would draw a straight line for now from there to there I'd make one of those cute little and then they would have a little thing on top as well and a little slightly different at the bottom right okay so I want I don't want it like I don't know if I want it I want it more like this I think than the other one I don't yeah that's the one isn't it yeah oh yeah I've done I know I've done it like that I haven't done it straight in the middle have I that's what I wanted to do yeah so I made it curved in the middle because that means you can see more of the same yeah that's fine you can have it straight in the middle if you want but then you'd have to curve your lines on you don't have to so I'm going to do it like that one. So that's the middle line there. I'm going to sort of like make it into a, a cup shape, okay, at the top. That's an ellipse. Okay, so I'm making it curved like that. And then that, I'm going to ignore the back in a minute. That's what you can do. And then you can rub that out, the back. Okay, and then, yeah, I suppose you could use that, couldn't you? You can, I can use this one. Oh yeah, let's make another. No. But not that one, is that right? But that one goes more. Ignore that. Okay, this is what I'm doing myself. This is not copied, <laughs> copied from anywhere. Yeah, so it's my own. Um, so then we would need, we could do that more straight actually, being as it's at the top. Your eye line could move more and then you could see more of that, a little less of that and hardly any of this. And that could be straight there, couldn't it? And that could be even more curved down here. Because your eye line, wherever your eye line would be straight, so you can looking down. Then you can see, yeah, I think that's quite good. Right, so what I've done there, let's have a look at what I've done. Right, um not done a design on it I've had that one really it's just a okay so anything that you do from there to there is correct okay it will be correct perspective if you've done it like that I mean it's it doesn't it doesn't seem to matter how I mean as I said that one it doesn't seem to matter how you've done the perspective really it's that's very curved that way that's basically straight and that's curved that way um, I think it would curve the other way really wouldn't it and that would curve down but see that's fine it looks absolutely fine well to me anyway any artist might be able to see different <laughs> anyway if you want to do say a design from there say you want you want to do another line okay that's sort of like almost you want equal distances or something so I could do, say I want to draw a line, say if you want to draw a line down it, yeah, like that. You could draw some of those inside there and that would be correct. Yeah, so I'm doing, what I'm doing here is doing a line down it and then sort of like working out, sort of like, it's not an equal distance, it's like a, uh, I suppose perhaps equal between there and there, and there and there. That's what I'm doing each time, and then that would look uh, correct. But I mean, you don't have to do this. This is uh, just a little. I thought it'd be fun to do to show you anyway. Okay, and I'm going to ignore that line at the back there because that's not in it. Because we're not going to be able to see that, and you could if you if you if that was made from clear glass, of course you'd be able to see it. But because it's not going to be made from clear glass, it's going to be made from coloured in glass, like this. Um, then you can't see it. Okay, so you could do any pattern like that. You could even go down like that. Because I'm trying to keep that going for same distance from there to there ish, and then using that line. Okay, anything like this. Um, yeah, so that's that'll do. That'll do as a, I'm going to use the same colours. 
that I've got out. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and you mustn't forget to show you the light box. Right, if you've done a design, right, okay, you can trace it. Um, I'm going to show you the light box. I can't use the light box because of the... Um, <laughs> it's too light. So my husband will come upstairs and he'll think I'm coming mad. <laughs> right, oops, hold on. I'm going to get it onto seven. Now you can see all the mess on the desk then. <laughs> right, this is, uh, the, this is the light box, okay. It's um, A4. And what you do is plug it in here and it would light up. Let's see if I can just show you. Plugs in there, I think. I guess this way around. Just that way. It might be the other way. Oh, it's the other way. <laughs> right, so you'd plug it in there and then you can, and it'll go through, it would go through. And then that, there, there's like, that doesn't seem to light up there, I don't know. I've got better ones than this actually. So what you would do then, put that design on there, for example. And, um, you put another one on top and you should be able to see through okay i don't know if i can I've got a thin piece of thing through yeah you can probably just see through where they are but if it's dark <laughs> you could or oh, you could probably see a little bit better now if it's dark you can see a lot better and that's the really thick card as well yeah so that's another thing so that's um and that's a that's a better option i think than tracing and also, if you've got the, if you've done your own drawings, of course, what you can do with them, you can make them larger or smaller. You can reduce them as as you like. You can copy them as much as you like. You don't get any um, bother from anybody. That your own drawings, okay. And obviously, if I if I give you permission to <laughs> to copy mine, if I did, um, then you could do that as well. If I did, if I put them on Kofi, that is, I don't know if I'm going to do. I don't know because <laughs> I don't seem to be able to have time to do it. Getting Kofi and just put my pictures on. Anyway, that was the um, demonstration of your light box. Okay, for some reason I've got extra paper. Right. Oh no, that's me. Oh dear. Everything's going. Right, so that. Right, so, okay, so what you could do now is do your. Right, well, that seemed very. Uh, why does it seem dull? I think it's because I have the light on, wasn't it? It seemed. Oh, no, it's not that dull. Right. <laughs> right, so let's do a boot now, okay. Um. How would you draw it? How would I draw a boot? A, uh, let's get it on two, two again because then you can see what I'm doing. Right, I'm just thinking how we draw it. I would think I would like to. Uh, I did actually copy that. I don't know where it is, where the copy is, but is it on there. Oh yeah, I did use a light box to copy it from that card to that card, <laughs> but it didn't. I couldn't see it very well. Um, but if you've got if you're using paper for this and you're using paper for that you can copy so well on using the light box or you could trace it whatever it's more accurate i think using the light box than tracing anyway that's the sort of thing we're doing now okay we're doing sort of like a, a, a christmas stocking and you can do it straight and you when, you when you hang it up on your peg whatever you use it hold on we're going to clash with that i get i do this you know i get oh wait is it no it's not quite close is it i don't know if you've got that big a foot but anyway, so I can put it, um, let's see, I'm just thinking the best way to draw it. I mean, I can draw it like that, let's say, but I'm just thinking about Ticho. Um, I suppose you could put a line down the middle and perhaps one at an angle like that. Let's try that one. So we're doing it, right, so this is how you would draw a boot. Let's see if I can do it myself because I'm not. So you draw a line down the middle like that and then you draw an angle on an angle like that i don't know about this bit <laughs> so you put um start at the top i'm just doing a straight line say down there but then you would sort of like well let's do let's do straight lines first okay down there from there to there and then you would perhaps do a rounded one here and perhaps there as well yeah rounded that would make the boot shape so you can join that up very gently don't 
Okay, and then there you go. Then you can go into the mode, can't you? You can make that a little more wider at the top. And there's your curve there, not a straight line, a curve now, okay, around. Now at the bottom, you've got this join here. You need to make that a little bit more wider. And yes, you need to stick that out like that, because that's what they tend to do, don't they? They make socks that short of shape, don't they? Um, I would say more like that. So you cut off that curve there and do it like that. Okay, and get rid of your lines with this strange rubber. Uh, no, <laughs> it's no right. Yeah, if I say weird words, I'm sorry, that's actually... Um, in the UK, it's it's a rubber. <laughs> okay, um, it's actually ads. That's why I often say a razor because if anybody's watching from the UK, then they're in certain parts of the world. It means something else. <laughs> right, so that's more like your. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I've made it bigger than that other one. So it doesn't matter what size you do, does it? You can make it a bit shorter if you like, as well. To make it more like a stocking shape. That is too long. Okay, it isn't too long for my feet, but it's too long for what I want. Right, okay, that's the, so you do something like that, don't you? See if we can and see if you can get that sort of it might look right, it might look wrong, but that looks okay to me. Just cutting off that bit there. I've done it straight, I haven't done any I haven't done any perspective on that. So that's fine, isn't it? You can do perspective as well. If you if you think you can practice perspective, you can do perspective. But I hadn't actually. It's completely straight across. And I, it, a sock's most likely to be, um, I suppose, uh, flatter, isn't it? And just do any any patterns. Then you can make little noises if you like as well. Yeah. There we go. And what have we got? And more down there. That sort of thing, can't we? Yeah, let's have a shall we have a blue one now. I think a lot of it, a lot of what I'm using in my in my journey is actually um, green and red. So I'm going to do greens and reds. Yeah, you can see that looks, you could leave it like that. I don't know, it's like a style, I suppose, isn't it? And then you could, or you could come along with some outlining. Yay, there we go. <laughs> and then I'm going to, what I'm going to do with these, I think, is perhaps outline them again. You put them on some black paper and cut them out. Um in those as well yeah so different size ones yeah so i've done that different shape to that it doesn't matter what shape you do them but uh see that's not pers brilliant perspective is it but that is there but that's not there but it certainly it looks absolutely fine so if you do think if you get, can you get it wrong just have a go <laughs> if it looks fine to you then i'm sure it will do it looks fine to me i don't know probably to an artist you think oh but no i'm i'm um I'm not going to buy that actually. Right, else, what else have I got? It's what else I've got, and I could colour these in. When I've when I've uh, printed them and everything, I could colour them in with some. Um, this is actually glitter pen. Oh, I've got to show you my thing. Have I got it here? Oh, I might have my little money. Have I got my little mark? My little stuff. Have I got it? No, I don't think I have. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so what I'm doing with these, so I've got a little, there's a little Nutcracker Sweet um, rubber stamp set I've got. And it's got these little soldiers and I've only done one. <laughs> and I've also got a um, a deer that looks like, a, I think it looks, what does it remind me of in the face? It might be another animal, not a deer. <laughs> and I've got a little snowman as well. These are rubber stamps. See, that would go on there really nicely, but I don't know whether to put something underneath. Perhaps some newspaper, um, perhaps some print. Yeah, that that's makes him stand out a bit more. I'm not too the white one looks a bit. I don't know. I'm gonna put some more. Look, I'm doing. I'll just put it on there like that. <laughs> See how it works. There you go. That looks a bit. I don't know if that makes it look a bit more. 
if it did as it's told and come down like I wanted it to. See that? It's in mainly one side. Yeah, I think there. That makes him stand out a bit better. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, you've got your um, little your nettle. So I've done some uh, library pockets, look, using some uh, paper. Uh, print. This is digitally printed paper, Christmassy stuff. Because I'm doing a Christmas journal, but hey, that one looks nice on there, doesn't it? As it is, rather than put anything. If you put something behind it, it might look a bit. Yeah, it's too white. And that's fine. I think that would be fine. Yeah. Or perhaps some of something of that colour. I don't know. No, that's that's too pink already. Um, yeah, because I did double print, double sided it. That's the ones. That's some, and that's the same. Actually, that's the same kit. I can't remember what it is now. <laughs> Christmas plaids and bits. Yeah. And then you can, or you can have that. That's rubber stamped uh, thing as well. Yeah, that's not my drawing. <laughs> I could actually probably draw that. I could easily draw that. It's just two circles. And then it's, I mean, it's not even got anything that's below there, does it? It's probably, yeah. So you could easily draw that, I think, you know. I probably could easily draw that as well, but that is a proper design, isn't it? That's really good. I really like that. Yeah. I mean, the other ones have got, some of them have got their eyes open. But that's just like dots, and that's easy. Just just two circles, um, some arms, put a scarf on, stick a nose out. So you've got to get the angle of the carrot right. And remember, it's not it's perspective again, isn't it? <laughs> it's hilarious, it is. Yes, it's hilarious. Isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I do hope you like my content today. I know it's um, very very. You might think it's difficult, but I mean, if you get if you practice doing things, you'll find it easy. I mean, you might be able to do some stockings. Probably better than if you did, or you could do those. They're easy to do, aren't they? Straight across ones. Just a, just doodling. Okay, and uh, stockings are quite. Um, I would say the stocking is actually the easiest one. Yeah, I'm going to cut these out, and I'm going to put them on black, and I might, you might, I might have them on the um, thumbnail <laughs> as black. It is, uh, you know, on the, either black paper. I'm got, or I'm going to. See, that's different to that, isn't it? I like that one better, actually. I like that better than that. It looks more like a sock. That's, that's black looks flat, but it looks it would look fine. It, it's just because I think it's because it's been drawn by somebody. Um, you could imagine it's I wish people park outside the house, you can do the wall, I wonder who they are, <laughs> right? It's um. It's a drawn by somebody, isn't it? It's not like drawn by a machine. That's what I'm saying. So, um, and it's um, it's almost naive. Okay, that could be that could be considered quite naive, and I absolutely adore naive art. Um, naive art is somebody who's taught themselves to draw. That's how it is, and, if and then the finish your picture off. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, and, that, and don't forget, you can always. Get, I would say if you're getting um, if you're using rubber stamps, where's my little images from? There you go. If you're using rubber stamps, make sure you get the ones that you actually want. I mean, I'm, I'm going to definitely do these. These are amazing. And it's something about nutty something. I think it's because it's Nutcracker Sweet um, Soldiers. That's what it is. Yeah, so it looks like it's dirty, doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, so I might actually. Let me get some. Yeah, oh, I'll tell you what. Let me show you this. Let me show you my glitter if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Uh, let's just colour the snowman in the uh, glitter. He might be with glitter, wouldn't he, if he was a snowman? See, I don't want to go. I don't want to leave. You don't want to go. No, don't go. Don't leave me. Uh. Right, so this is why. Um, it's quite a long video. Uh, okay. I think I've only done about 20 minutes and it's an hour, but um, hopefully I'm actually teaching you to draw on this one. Just a bit. I don't know if I can see it now. Let's see if I can make it glisten. I've got where's the light gone? Why is it off? Oh no, my light broken. I've got another one up there. Oh no, it's off. So just I'll put it off. Oh, it is on. My light is on, it's alright. <laughs> right, um I don't think I, I can see it glisten now. Let's see if I can see it, but it actually does glitter. Yeah. Yeah, so the snowman should be glittering. Yeah, and I'm going to use that. You know when I said I've got, um, I sometimes, I hate seeing glue 
and shining up. But if you put that round it, it actually hides the glue. <laughs> it's just, um, I don't want it as that. Oh, it's um, Spectrum Inter. Uh, yeah. yeah, Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pan. Yeah, very useful. I'm going to find those for that one. Very useful, especially during the frosty months. Right then, so I will say goodbye now, okay? So I'm hoping to show you them on the um, thumbnail, okay? In a different way. Thank you so much and good. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this project. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thank you so much.